Okay, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to create a text box beneath a figure in your MLA document. So right now this is incorrect because it's only tie it's typed within the text. You can see I can select the whole text and um, that's incorrect. It needs to be separate. It needs to be a smaller font than it is. Let's see what size. You see it's a size 12 font. It needs to be size 10. So what we want to do <clears throat> is select this information and I'm just going to uh, cut it from here. And as you see, it's, it, this is just tracking all the stuff I'm doing. The next step you want to do is insert. So go to insert. You can go to insert here as well, and I believe it says text box here, and then you can draw a text box, okay? But I like to use insert, and way over here is text box, draw a text box. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a text box the size of the image, not wider than the image, here, okay? Uh, and you will notice there's a, a border. We need to get rid of the border. So you double click on it and it's a, you click no line and the line will disappear. You can also go under format, borders and shading and get rid of the, say no border. Okay. So we've gotten rid of the line. Now we want to wrap the text around it. So you go to layout <clears throat> and you say um, top and bottom. And you can see the word Baroque has moved out of the way of this text box. So any text will now move around this. Uh, let me make sure the image is... You see it's in line with text. You do not want that. <coughs> Excuse me. You want it to go top and bottom. Okay? So now let's get back to our little text box. It might not... There we go. And we go in there and we paste the information we had just cut. So here it is, pasted in. Okay, now it's too big and it's not formatted correctly. So we wanna get rid of this tab and you wanna put <clears throat> one, because this is figure one. Then you wanna select all or you can just use your cursor and select all and then you want to go to home and make it 10 points and the reason for that is shucks, let's see, here we go. the reason for making it 10 points rather than 12 is so that once you start typing in text all around it and it goes by it <clears throat> this type for the labels will be much smaller than the text so your eye will jump past it and continue to follow the text so you want it to be separate from the text visually. Okay? And so that is how you add a label. Now let's say you need to resize this figure for whatever reason. You hold the shift key down and you do this. Okay? Then you move your box. And then you can move your box like this. And there you have it. 